So yes. uh, you're, you're very into the mental side of things. Mm -hmm. um, I want to dive right into that. Uh, starting with right after your freshman year of high school, you, you stopped playing football um, and you, you were all in on wrestling. Mm -hmm. You went to a national tournament in North Dakota, I believe, yep. and you went 0-2. It didn't go well and your coach pulled you aside and said, hey, you have performance anxiety. You uh, are putting everyone else on a yeah. pedestal. Yeah. And right after, you kind of flipped the script, like very shortly after, yeah. where you went from performance anxiety to kind of an antagonizer, you know, instigator. Yeah. Yeah. How would you flip the script so quickly from um, total 180? Hmm. I think it was just when someone like pointed out to me what 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 was the most effective way to do it. It was like, oh yeah, like yeah, that's what I need to do, you know. Um, sure. And I think I think I always kind of loved to compete. I mean, I still love to compete. I always loved to compete. But it was just that, like, um, like you said, kind of performance anxiety where it's like, oh my God, this is a big thing, this is different. And I treated it differently as opposed to like, this is just a competition and I already love to compete, yeah. so just go compete, right? Um, and that's uh, actually, actually, I think maybe my, method, my next mental money might, might be on that topic because uh, I, uh, two parents asked me about it this week and that's probably the number one biggest topic I've covered in, I don't know, I've been doing mental money probably for six years or seven years, a long time. And the number one topic is some form of you know, my kid gets to a big tournament and they're not as good as they are at the small tournaments sure. or my kid's not as good in a competition as they're in practice. Like, you know, there's a lot of versions of it, but it's kind of all the same thing. Okay, yeah. okay. So to anybody listening to this, what's your advice on overcoming any insecurities or anxiety? Because you're one of the most confident yeah. people I've ever seen. Um, for, well, for performance anxiety, it's, it's literally, it's very simple actually. It's you just focus on the things you're supposed to be focusing on, which I know that's really easy to say, but like, okay, if you're playing, uh, I think you coach basketball, right? Yes. If you coach basketball, it's like, oh, who do I need to pass to? How do I get the ball into the net? Not like, oh my God, my dad's watching me. Or, oh my God, that person on our team's really good. Like, those type of thoughts are going to be, oh my God, what if I miss this shot? Well, you know, like, those type of thoughts are going to be counterproductive to having success. So you need to think on, like, in you know, wrestling, it's like, okay, well, how do I get to a single leg? Right? I got to set it up. I got to pull. I got to push. I got to move, move his head. And then I got to go. Right? How do I get off bottom? Like those simple thoughts are the ones that are the ones you really need. And a lot of people have these like bigger thoughts of like, oh, what if I lose? Or that guy's really strong looking mm -hmm. and stuff like that. 